Hi, my name is Pat. I answer the phone and schedule work for my husband, Warner. Warner is a tree doctor that has been fixing sick trees for almost 50 years. Together we make up Warner's tree surgery. Today I will be talking about tipu trees. The tipuana tipu is also known as a rosewood and sometimes the pride of Bolivia. It can grow to almost 100 foot in height and it gets up to 55 foot wide. The tipu is used as a shade tree in Arizona. The leaves of the tipu tree are about 10 inches long and made up of leaflets 1 to 3 inches long. The flowers are bright yellow in color and bloom only briefly in the late summer. The tipu psyllid is sometimes a problem for tipu trees. The extensive feeding of the tipu psyllid causes the leaves on the tipu trees to curl and drop early, reducing the stored chemical energy in the reserve cells of the tree. As reserve energy decreases, trees are more susceptible to disease. Tipu psyllid nymphs and adult nymphs are tiny insects that feed on sap. All life stages except eggs attack young leaves and branches of the tipu. The nymphs produce wax pellets. Adults and nymphs produce large amounts of honeydew which fosters the growth of black sooty mold on leaves and branches. The tipu is also a food plant for the spittlebugs and in both Southern California and Arizona. The spittlebug that likes the tipu comes from Africa and the tipu spittlebug is very social and enjoys being in a crowd. In its larval and nymphal stages they feed on a variety of plants and produce protective nests of nasty looking foam from the plant's sap. Excreted in large amounts, the foam drips constantly, causing wet patches on the soil below. Adults have slaty gray wings. The head is white and rounded with large dark eyes and small black and yellow marks on the forehead. We treat for tipu psyllid and a spittle bug with a one-time injection of a fast-acting insecticide that goes directly into the tree. For the tipu psyllid, we get the homeowner on a yearly program of treating the tree with bare advanced tree and shrub. Unfortunately, the bare advanced tree and shrub does not control spittle bugs. For the spittle bugs, Bear recommends using its 3-in-1 insect disease and mite control. This is Pat with Warner's Tree Surgery. If you have anything like this, give us a call. Our number is 480-969-8808. Bye.